<laughs> on Talksport, Arsenal host six time winners Bayern, hoping to continue the fine form since January's winter break when Mikel Ateta was famously uh, fed a steak by celebrity sh- uh, chef Salt Bear. Uh, by the way, I, I was looking at M- Mikel again on the telly, he's so relaxed compared to a know, few months ago. I think that's a very good point, Al. I think he's as composed and as sort of calm. I mean, look, he's always he's he's always in that technical area, and he ain't never far away from from uh, from going crazy. But I just think right now it's as calm and as composed as I've seen him when uh, on match day. Yeah. Um, honestly, because there have been times on match day when he's oh. people are running down the wing and all, he's almost sticking a leg out and tripping yeah. him up. He's that close. He looks so relaxed. But he's yeah. very relaxed, and so he should be the way his team are playing. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. We've been asking the question this morning. Neutrals, will you be supporting Harry Kane tonight, or are you going for the English side Arsenal? Jonathan's a Tottenham fan, so I wonder what Jonathan's going to see. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning, Talk Sport. Great show as always. Good man, good man. What about tonight then? What about a, oh, two blockbusters? Oh, tonight, yeah, tonight is an absolute head melter. <laughs> absolute head melter. Obviously, we really need the English clubs to do well. As a Tottenham fan, we need the coefficient to get making sure we can get into the Champions League. But the idea of anything other than Harry Kane coming to London, to North London, and banging two or three goals, that's what it's about tonight. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Arsenal. Yeah. Really love you to see you go down. Secret agent Harry Kane back <laughs> in North <laughs> London doing what he does. Yeah. Jonathan, nice one. Um, production staff, please just have a look at uh, Harry's record at, at the Emirates. Will you do that for me, please? Yeah. Thank you. It was only 20 minutes nice ago. Nice one, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan, thank you. Now, uh, Jesus. What about Jesus, right? Uh, we'll take a look at Arsenal Barn forward. Gabriel uh, responded to suggesting that the Gunners are favourites to advance. This is what he says. Well, I don't think we are favourites, but, you know, like I said, it's uh, quite a final of Champions League. If we arrive there, it's because we deserve it and we have a quality also. But we are talking about Bayer, you know, uh, we have to respect them. And then, uh, obviously, we have to face them like, you know, uh, OK, they are Bayer, but we are Arsenal. But I think the same way we we respect them, they respect us as well. So I think there is no favourite. And uh, that will be a big game and rouge battle. Uh, Jesus wanted to say yesterday he doesn't remember the last time he played without pain. Uh, 27 now, he's been sidelined with injury on three separate occasions this season. He's managed four Premier League goals and 21 appearances so far. It's not great no, for him, is it? Four that's, out of 21. That's, no, but coming back to the pain thing, that's a good point, Al. I think people, people underestimate how many times footballers actually get out there and play matches and you're actually playing in pain or discomfort. You are a lot. Very rarely. Do you remember back in the day when we were playing, Al? Do you remember running out thinking, I feel unbelievable today? You know, half a dozen times a season, you run out there thinking, because there's always something chipping away or niggling away. And he's had his fair share of of injuries. Now, Martinelli's fit again now. Now, Gabriel Jesus has been playing on that left-hand side up front, Mm. and he's great at doubling back and, 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 and... working in front of the full back and and when when you've got to block teams off like they did up at City he's very good at that he's probably well he is better than that than Martinelli but Martinelli in terms of getting to the byline and using that pace that he's got he is dangerous Al isn't he? Do you know one of the the real horrible injuries I had I, I, I had what they call a neuroma on the nerve right. so it's a growth on the nerve so I pinched a nerve where? between my toe alright right? so every time Left you put foot. Yeah, every time I put my foot down, it was an electric shock. Well, that's right? like that plantar fasciitis oh. underneath. And it got worse and worse. So that's what horrible. they used to do is... was two minutes before you ran out, or a minute before jab. you ran out, jab. Jab in it, yeah. Bang, straight in. Yeah. But the jab, and then have another one at half time, but it never lasted. No. So the last five minutes, you're, you're scared yeah. to put your foot down. No, it's horrible. It is. Oh. When you're having to... When you're, and look, there are times in your career where you don't want to miss out on the big games. You're happy to... To uh, look nowadays, it's frowned upon, and nowadays oh, because Ali, of the size uh, of the squad. I spoke to Ali about it. You know, um, many times when you you were fifty oh, fifty, yeah. quarters on, yeah, bang yeah, it in there, yeah, get it in there, get it in there, because you want to be you. You listen, you know, you want to be part of it, and we're at that stage of the season when 
particularly for these Arsenal boys and and the, and the City Liverpool players that they're all going for the big pots. They all scared, want to be you're, playing. You're also, uh, you were also scared, Andy, of losing your place, losing your bonus. You that's needed it. the money. Well, that's true. That's there's all of those factors which didn't make it right, but but they were justifiable reasons why talk, we talk did what that, we did. You were telling me a little bit Beckham's uh, contract. <laughs> yeah, there was something in there today about. David Beckham's first contract going up for auction and apparently is, is expected to fetch something like 10 grand or something amongst a number of other ones and it says his first one was 29.95 a week wow I used to get 14 16 quid then 55 quid is that what it was my first year first pro one? I got 55 pounds my first and I had to pay my digs out of it you're joking. Oh, you I really? Yeah. Well, my... my Friday night I was skint my first contract at Southampton was 200 quid a week in 1980, end of 1984, start of 85, 200 quid a week. Yeah. And uh, just wanted to play. I just wanted, I was happy to to, uh, to get a chance. And then Brenda um, Britton Gabby said, Oh, he said, I got 75 <laughs> grand a week, but I had to pay tax on it. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're a greedy girl. Unfortunately, we have to pay a bit of tax in this country. <laughs> yeah. So he was whinging 75 grand a week. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.